going to be demonstrating now a technique that you're going to be using quite often in your organic laboratory experience, namely thin layer chromatography, or affectionately known as TLC. I'm going to demonstrate for you how we separate out a mixture of fluorinone and benzoic acid on a TLC plate. The first thing the student has to know is that the TLC plates that we use in the laboratory are cut from these very large plates which we buy. We call these stock plates. And these stock plates then are going to provide us with the TLC plate that we're actually going to use in our experiment. Put that back. This. And here is the actual size of plate that we're going to use. Now the first thing that we do is to mark the plate so that we can load it. The second thing that we'll do is to develop the plate. The third thing that we want to do is to visualize the plate. So let's start out by spotting the plate. We're going to put a pencil mark about a centimeter from the bottom and we're going to mark it in three places, not too near the edge. Okay. And I'm going to mark these places for you. The one on the far left, I'm going to mark FL for fluorinone. The one on the far right, I'm going to mark B for benzoic acid, and the one in the middle is going to be what we call a co-spot, where I'm going to spot both fluorinone and benzoic acid. And here I have two solutions that students have provided. The one on the left, the yellow solution, is a solution of fluorinone, which is a naturally yellow solid in diethyl ether, and the one on the right is a solution of benzoic acid in diethyl ether. So we're going to use these solutions to demonstrate TLC. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to get a spotter. Now these spotters are very thin bore glass and we're going to use these to uh, put to apply solutions to the cross hatches on my line. So I'm going to draw up into the spotter a solution of fluorinone in diethyl ether. And then I'm going to take the spotter and I'm going to hold it perpendicular to the surface of the TLC plate and I'm going to touch it to it a few times. We don't want the spot to get too big. And there. Now I'm going to put one spot on that crosshatch in the middle, like that. Okay, so we spotted fluorinone. Now let's spot benzoic acid. Do the very same thing. We draw up the solution of benzoic acid into the spotter and we hold the spotter perpendicular to the surface of the TLC plate and we spot it. Benzoic acid doesn't show up as darkly on the plate as we'll see as fluorinone does so I'm going to spot it a little bit heavier okay. like that and you'll see that it'll show up better and then a co-spot, a couple of spots in that middle area like that. All right. So we have on our TLC plate on the left fluorinone which is the yellow spot and then we have a combination of fluorinone and benzoic acid and on the far right we have benzoic acid. So now we've loaded the plate. Now we're going to develop the TLC plate. I have in here a solution of diethyl ether and acetone in a combination of nine and a half milliliters of diethyl ether to a half a milliliter of acetone. So we, so, so we say that's a 95-5 mixture by volume. And this is our developing chamber. Okay. And we're now going to put the TLC plate into the developing chamber. And we use, 10, we use a volume of 10 mils because you'll see that when I put the TLC plate into the uh, developing jar, 
that the level of the liquid in there does not reach up to or surpass the uh, horizontal line that I drew on the plate. We don't want that to happen. And now we're going to let the solvent rise by capillary action up through the TLC plate until it gets to within about a centimeter of the top. All right, we've let the solvent run up to within a couple of centimeters of the top of the plate. Now what I'm going to do is to take the top off and very quickly mark the progress of the solvent. This has to be done very quickly because the solvent is volatile. And so there, I've marked the progress of the solvent. Now we're going to visualize the spots. There is a 254 nanometer sensitive material that's embedded in the silica gel. And we have a, uh, a viewer here which will show us exactly how that's used to visualize the spots in the TLC plate. 